Today's lesson. Oh. Oh no. I'm recording. What? I'm recording that. I don't know. It's not working. Okay. Here we go. Today's lesson. I'm really excited about. Um, today we're going to talk about probability, conditional probability, and in specific tree diagrams. So this could be the title of your notes right here. <coughs> tree, tree diagrams. Now, the Cambridge tests they're very specific with like the things you have to know and the things you don't have to know. Probability is a big, big, complicated subject. Lots and lots of stuff that goes on. We're only learning what we have to know because we don't have the time for everything else. So there's a style of question they ask. I'm going to teach you enough information to like answer that style of question. I'm not teaching you everything about conditional probability. Right? So there's, um, believe it or not, there's an ISIS bus. Is <laughs> no way. Like, is the bus ISIS? Or it's filled with ISIS, ISIS people. ISIS. The entire bus is filled with suicide bombers. Oh, that's great. Wait, but that doesn't make any sense if they're all in the same place. And uh, I'm not saying they're smart, okay? This is just how it is. <laughs> all right? What is going on YouTube? Or what if they're there to bomb each other? All right. That's why they're on the same No, no. <laughs> they're going down the street. Maybe your street. No. Yeah, I remember. They're, they're driving down the street. And there's an intersection right here. Now, apparently, when you're wearing a suicide vest, it's hard to turn the steering wheel. So there's a three-fourths probability that when they get to the intersection, they're going to go straight. And there's a one-fourth probability that when they get to the intersection, they're going to turn. On this intersection, they can only go right. So I want to know, who lives right here? Angel? Yeah, Angel. <laughs> Angel's house is right here. So it looks to me like there's, so <clears throat> first of all, conditions of this little experiment is if it's your house, your home. So Angel's home. If ISIS goes to your house, you die. They blow up your house. Oh, no, Angel. <laughs> okay. So it looks like right off the bat, there's a three-quarters chance that Angel's Angel, gonna yeah. Angel's going to take a dirt nap. He's going to be six feet under. He's going to be pushing up daisies. Yeah. The worms crawl in. The worms crawl out. The worms play pinochle on your snout. Yeah. Okay, Catalina. Um, now, when they go down the road over here, there's another intersection. Okay, they don't like turning. It's hard to turn when you got all that, all that bomb vest thing on, right? It's hard, hard to operate the steering wheel. So at this intersection, there's a three quarter, a three fourths chance that they go straight, and a one quarter chance that they turn. Actually, they'd end up turning left right there. Okay, whose house is over here? My house. <laughs> all right. Well. What's the probability that I die right here in this situation? What would it be? Three eighths, one eighth, one sixteen. How are you getting all these different answers? So, like, so in order for me to die, they first have to make this turn, and then they have to make this turn. So that'd be one fourth times one fourth. Yeah. Right. So it'd be one sixteen. If you were visiting somebody and you had two choices, where would you rather be? <laughs> you were with, you're in Austin. Hi, Carlos. Why are you here? Bye, Carlos. Bye. Bye. No, no. Well, <laughs> what, what class do you have right now, Carlos? German. That's a long way away. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Arrivederci. 
That's not German. <laughs> a feet are stained. Yeah. My feet are stained. What? My feet are stained. Right. My feet are stained. Uh, a feet are stained. My shotzi. Well, shotzi means like sweetie pie. Yeah. Okay. Now. All right. Back on track. There's another intersection right here. Okay. And they don't like turning. Okay. So there's a three-fourths probability that once they get to this intersection, they go straight. And there's a one-fourth probability that if they get to that intersection, they turn left. Whose house is at the end of the street? Oh. Mighty Sella's house is at the end of that street. We're all going to die. It's true. Now, there's two more, there are two more houses. Because there's a house here. And there's a house here. Um, they don't like turning. So there's a three-fourths probability that they just go straight. There's a one-fourth probability that they go that direction. Once it's on that direction, even though there's a turn, there's no choice. They have to turn. Or they just blow up a cactus that's over here or something. Like there's just, there's like a cactus right here. Oh my God. Right. They don't want to just blow up the cactus. That's not needed. It's not even okay. cool. All right. So um, who lives here? Who? Laney. Delaney. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> All right. And then Delaney lives there, and who lives here? Wait, doesn't live too. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Did I spell your name right? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Delaney, I spelled your name correctly also? No. Yes. That is like a wire. I wondered, <laughs> is it? Oh, well, I already said that, but okay. <laughs> With the wire. Maricela. Yes. <laughs> All right, Ollie. Um, you ready? Here's what we got to figure out. Like, um, what's the probability in this situation? I'm just gonna put some up here. Like, what's the probability that? Um, well, we already know Angel. Angel's got a three-fourths probability. What would be the probability then? I'm just gonna put the letter. That Maricela gets it right now. She's gonna poof. <laughs> What would that be? <coughs> What's the probability that Maricela gets it? What'd you get, Ollie? Do you guys agree with him? Because mm -hmm. it would be, it would be one fourth times three fourths times three fourths, right? <laughs> and nine over sixty-four. Okay, does that feel pretty safe or not pretty safe? Uh, like Considering ISIS is rolling down your neighborhood, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. That's pretty safe. Okay. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. All right. Edgardo, what's the probability that Delaney gets it? That's a nice pencil. Dixon Ticonderoga number two. You had to look to see, and I could tell from here. Yeah, they are nice. Yeah. That's all that Luis steals, I mean uses. <laughs> Rafa, you got this one? Yeah? Delaney, did you figure out the probability that you're going to die? Yeah, what is it? 
Oh, well, don't redo. Don't worry about reducing it. Do you guys agree with her? Yeah. Sure. So for Delaney, we got one fourth times three fourths times three. No, times three fourths, then times one fourth, right? Yeah. yeah. Times three fourths. Is that right? Ah, so it's 9 out of 256. Yeah, you had an extra 3 in there. Okay. So wait, where would you rather be? Here? Like, if you don't want to die. Would you rather be here or here? You'd rather be at Delaney's house. Because, yeah, 9 out of 256. A lot smaller than 9 out of 64. Okay. All right. Check this out. Um, I got miles. <laughs> what's the probability that one of them dies? What did you say? Me? Yeah. 45 over 256. 45 out of 256. Point one, one point, oh wait, one eight. What? All right. So what's the probability? <laughs> that um, Maricela gets it? 9 out of 64, right? Yes. And or means either one works. So you're going to add those two probabilities. And that Delaney gets it? No, it's still 256. Are we good? Yes. So this is going to be 36 out of 260, 256, right? Mm -hmm. So 45 out of 256. Are you guys uh, in agreement or disagreement? Yeah. Yeah? Kayla, are you sad that your house isn't on this block? <laughs> you are? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. How about this one then? What's the probability that it's not angel? Oh, wow. What's the probability that it's not angel? Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi, Karime. Do you have it? What do you think it is? Because there's, it's three-fourths that it is. Yeah. So the other option would be it is not. It has to add to one. So one-fourth. Are we good? Yeah. So what would be the what would be the probability that it's not Maricela or Delaney? It's not Maricela or Delaney. It's neither of those. Two eleven over two fifty six, right? Yeah. You just had to subtract from two fifty six. Okay. Any questions so far? Nobody. We're all good. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hey, uh, Jessica, how do you feel with your hands? Oh. <laughs> wow. Yes, how you feel? Oh. Said with your hands. <laughs> 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 Yeah? How do I look? With my eyes. With my eyes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, before we move on to the next one, is everybody comfortable with reading this kind of chart? 
and how it works. Yeah? Okay. They don't always look like this, but they always, they like show a, a, like a path you can follow. Even if it's not like a physical path, like this is supposed to be a road, right? It's not always a road, it could be a choice. Okay, so here's, here's the next one. There's um, a jar filled with formaldehyde. What? You know what formaldehyde is? No. No? Oh. <laughs> Let's see if I can spell it right. Formaldehyde. Nope. I think that's how you spell formaldehyde. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a jar with formaldehyde, and floating in the formaldehyde is um, there are eleven eyeballs. Try right. eleven eyeballs now. Here's the deal with these eyeballs. They're human. Five of the eyeballs came from boys. And six came from girls. Now when you think about it, five is a really strange number of eyeballs to collect. So Maybe he was defective when he showed up. Maybe he got away. Maybe somebody confused the eyeball with a jawbreaker. Because you never know, have the jawbreakers that look like an eyeball. <laughs> yep. That reminds me, Ollie, I used to have a student that was blind. He was blind. He, he was born with ocular cancer. So as soon as he was born, um, they had to remove his eyes. So he had these cavities where his eyes were, and he had glass eyes. And what he would do is uh, he would take, in class, he would take his glass eyes out and set them on top of his cheeks. <laughs> and sit in the back room, in the back of the room with his eyes like wide open and his mouth wide open, and then his fake eyes sticking to the front of his face. <laughs> it was the creepiest thing. The first time he did it, I was like, uh. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to teach Trey here. <laughs> Can yeah. you stop? <laughs> yeah. Put your eyes back in your head. All right. I didn't mean it. All right. Really now, <laughs> here's the experiment we're going to do. You're going to choose an eyeball <laughs> and not replace it. Then you pick another. You had an eye on you. So that's what this kid, the one that got away, that's what you could say. I got an eye on you. Yeah. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a tree diagram. So the instructions might say <coughs> make a tree diagram. Showing the probabilities and outcomes. So this is this might be what the instructions say. Given this situation, you got eleven eyeballs in a jar. Five are male and six are from a female. Draw a tree diagram showing all of the outcomes and the probabilities. Catalina, nobody's asking the obvious question. When you have a jar, right? And it's like, you've got a bunch of eyeballs in it, right? And you just pick like an eyeball. <laughs> How do you know if it's male or female? <laughs> See, there's a good answer. The female uh, have eyelashes. Stuff to them. Oh. I thought maybe because the eyes are the window into the soul. 
I know, but right. Boys have eyelashes too. That's true. With mascara. <laughs> mascara. Okay. So here's how you do this. You ready? So we've got we've got two choices, right? You got your first pick. You got your first choice. And on your first choice, it could be either male or female, right? What's the probability on your first choice that the first one's male? Five out of 11. There's 11 total, and there's five of them that are male. Is that good? That's still such a funny number. See what happens when you steal a probability problem that had like red balls and blue balls in a in a bag and you right and you change it to eyeballs. <coughs> anyway, Ollie, on your first choice, what's the probability that the eyeball you chose was from a female? Six out of eleven. You good? Okay. Now, because I don't want my drawing to be all ugly, I'm gonna put a little line right here. So I got room for my second choice. Because otherwise it looks all ugly. So first choice is male, first choice is female, right? And then we have our second pick. On the second pick, and this is the tricky part right here. On the second pick, what's the probability that you randomly chose a male? On the four second one. Four out of ten. All right, so let's talk about why it's four out of ten. First of all, where's the four come from? Yeah. Right. right. And there's ten left. Like, no matter what, when you pick one, there's ten left now, right? If your first choice was male and you don't put it back, there's now four left. So four out of ten. We're good? What would be the probability that if the first choice was male... What would be the probability then that the second choice is female? Six out of ten. Six out of ten, because there's ten left, and there's still six females in there. Okay. Male, female. All right. Um, what's the probability that if the first one was female, the second one was male? Five out of ten. One half. Five out of ten. Do you see why, like, a lot of times with probability, it makes sense not to reduce? Mm -hmm. You see all the denominators are all the same over here? Makes it easy. Okay, and what's the probability here? What's that? Five out of ten. Five out of ten. Yeah. Because you took one away. I know. Yeah. Oh, you meant one. Yeah. Five out of ten. So we're good? So that's it right there. That's, that's all you'd have to do. The hard part's filling these out. Now, oh yeah, before we move on, who's got questions about this so far? Michelle, do you have questions so far? You should have a lot of questions, like why the jar of 11 eyeballs? <laughs> but, no? Okay. How do you know what to do? Huh? I, I know, right? <laughs> I, I think the eye is the window to the soul, so when you look in it, if it's a girl, it looks like a nice eye, and if it's a boy, it looks really dumb. <laughs> So I think, sorry, Angel, but boys are dumb. It's true. Boys are dumb. It's true. In fact, like Rafa, they say like they say that a single man. Boy, I don't know. I don't know. They say they say a single man doesn't know how wrong he is until he gets married. It's a true story. A single man doesn't know how wrong he is. You know how they say if a tree falls in the woods and nobody's there to hear it, does it still make noise? What if a man is in the woods by himself? Is he still wrong? It doesn't even matter, does it? I mean, all right, all right, Edgardo. Hey, uh, check this out. Given this tree diagram, let's let's make sure we know how to use this. What would be the probability? And it has to go in order of male first, female second. Anybody know how to do that?
Male first, female second. Male first. That's a good question. You would multiply. Because it's very strict. Yeah. That's right. And it's in order. So like this is pick number one and that's pick number two. So male and then female. And uh, yeah, it's... So it would be... Would it be 5 over 11 times 6 over 10? Is that right? Yes. So 30 over 110? Is that right? Any questions? So you guys see how that works? You just like, you can just follow the tree diagram. So this and then that. Good? What about, um, what's the probability of female then female? Well, that's not supposed to be a comma right there. I'm sorry? Three elevens. Three elevens. Same? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So exactly the same. It's 5 over 11. No, no. It would be 6 over 11 times 5 over 10, right? Yeah. Like if you showed your work. And so it would be 30 over 110 or 3 over 11. Either way. Okay. What's the probability of male and then male? Well, that's going to go down here because this one is right there. What do you got on this one, Ollie? You got it yet? So you did you did five over eleven times four over ten, so you got twenty over one ten. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So are you comfortable? Alright. So one last thing then for today, if you guys don't have any questions yet. No? Okay, then here's where it gets tricky though. <sighs> They're gonna take away one of these things. They're gonna say you don't know what this is right here. And you also don't know what this is. But they're going to say, hey, the probability of getting this and then this equals something. And you have to figure out that part. Yeah. Jessica's nodding at me like, yeah, I know what you mean. So let's talk about stray children in the hall. <laughs> yeah. There's stray children in the hall today, right? Nobody wants them. They're just kind of unwanted. <laughs> roaming around, right? Well, he had a pass at least. And, and it didn't look like he wanted to go back to class, but he had somewhere to be. And I bet Mr. Ramirez would be upset if Carlos didn't show back up. Maybe. Maybe. But like the child that was wandering around right now, I don't think anybody misses him or knows he's gone. That's my suspicion. They're going to have like a Humane Society commercial featuring wandering hallway children. Together we can make a difference. Together we can make a difference. Try it. All right, Luis. So. Stray... Hallway children. Stray hallway children. All right. Now, Delaney. Let's say, um, given that, um, there was a stray child. On day one. Okay. And the probability of that happening was Okay. So there's a seventy there's a 0.72 probability that on the first day there's a kid wandering the halls, right? So suppose it did happen. There was a kid wandering the halls on, on the first day, right? Mm -hmm. And the probability of day one and day two having a child, having a Stray wanderer. Like, oh, yeah, see, there he is. Yeah. 
Too much loss. Maybe if we put a bowl of milk by the door. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're hungry. Maybe he'll you like. Strawberry milk at lunch. Okay. Okay. Well, that is like the most verbose way of asking this, po this question possible. Oh my goodness. Another. Another. That one's resourceful, though. He once, when he was a freshman, found a chicken wing in his backpack <laughs> and was eating it. It was seventh period, and, I'm like, and he was eating after class. I'm like, what are you eating? It's like, chicken wing. Chicken wing? Where'd you get a chicken wing? Found it in my backpack. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. True story. Yeah. All right, so let me see if I can say this a little more clearly, okay? The probability that there's a stray kid in the hall on day one is 0.72, okay? The probability that there was a kid in the hall on day one and day two combined is 0.35, okay? So given that there was a child on day one, right, what's the probability there's also a child on day two? These problems caused me so much trouble because I never learned the tree diagrams. Once I like finally just wrote a t tree diagram, it was so easy. Like these would make me angry because I couldn't figure out how you would get the answer. And then I'd like research it like in the book, and it would like set up this stupid formula. I'm like, where did that come from? To set up a tree diagram, which really, really easy. So watch. Let's let's set up a tree diagram right here. So let's say day one. Um, we could have a yes, or we could have a no, correct? What's the probability of the yes? 72. 0.72. Okay. And then, so it's not so ugly. This was the yes tree, and this is the no branch. Yes branch, no branch. Okay. This is all we're really worried about right here. This is the yes on day two. Do you understand that this is what they're asking for? What's the probability of this yes right here? But you know the whole thing equals what? 0.35. So the probability of day one times the probability of day two, because that's how you use the tree diagram, right? It equals 0.35. Do you see how to solve it? Yeah, you just plug in what you know, and you solve it. See how that works? We're going to do a bunch of these in detail in the near future. You'd need a calculator, but I happen to have one of those fancy machines right here. So 0.35 divided by 0.72. Hey, what's your guess? What do you think it should be? Around half? Hey, dang. How'd you get around half? Uh, because half of them <coughs> is 36 cents. Oh. You're multiplying them? Yeah. And yeah. All right. <coughs> About a 50% chance. OK. Do you see how I didn't make the whole tree diagram? Do you see why I only made that branch I was con you know, concerned with? Are we good? Gabriel, you're awful quiet today. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I had a really strange experiment or experience. Um, uh